Welcome back to Upper Height, episode 18. You join us here in the undersea. And let's bring back the world and ignore everyone that's complaining about ground pollution. Now in this new district here, we have basically everything sorted. We've got healthcare sorted. We've got fire and rescue sorted. The police sorted. We may have forgot about education though. So, in this episode, we're gonna go focus on education. Not only in this new district here, but across the entire city, because we don't have any universities. Have a look at that. Zero capacity. We already have 163 eligible citizens. We need to sort that. In this part of our new little estate here, I noticed this section that's just empty. We could zone, but it's one of them directly on the main road. I'd rather not. So instead, we'll place a high traffic building there, if there's one that's small enough, which there is not. I've been looking at this, and there's no good way of getting both sides to have decent schooling. You miss out huge chunks this way. I believe it's the same. So, is it only elementary school that has that range thing? It's the only one that's showing up when I click it. Cool then. So a capacity suite. I think I'll put two elementary schools in. I've selected where the first primary school's gonna go. It's gonna go just out of the bridge here on this little strip of road. Now we're gonna have to do some rearranging to get that to work. So we'll pause the game, we'll bulldoze both of these roads and all these houses that are whinging now because I've got no access. And then I want to see just about whereabouts we can pop a school in here. I think right there is perfect. Why is everyone unhappy that there's a school just being plopped on? I guess there's no families living here with kids. There's no one living there anymore. <laughs> what? Okay. Alright, now this is a school, so we're going to do a nice little pedestrian street here. Nothing crazy, just a quick plop. And there we go. Let me have a look at the reconnecting this road here. What do I need about the outside? Of course we want a playground for the wee kids to play. I think we'll pop that on the side there. And the extension wings within the building, so that's ideal. The children's clinic. Can I squeeze that anywhere? Now, well, we're going to have healthy kids here anyway. Let's get the alley back out with a bit of corv action. But you know what? I'm, I'm not going to bother. I was going to do something like that, but it's just silly. It's just going to cut loads of zoning off. And we have a big block there. So, I'm going to pop one there. I don't know why it's insisting on doing a roundabout, but, you know, whatever. And I think, come around to about there. Oh, cut off the zoning. I wanted a little one, one wide. But whatever. We'll skirt. You know what? I was insisting on connecting over there, but we don't need to. We'll just go straight down, 180 degrees, connect in there, we'll bulldoze that little arm. Well, you know what? I like that little arm. Plop. And what that can double up as, if we pop a path in here, we'll be able to skirt a path just along the edge. That's snapping off. There we are gone. Perfect. Look at that connectivity. Oh, that's right. I want to pop a little path here as well. If you can let me place it, that would be nice. Just there will do. I just want to connect these roads. Because what that will allow, I was just about to say that will allow people from over here to get over to the school. Or, instead of making them cross the road there, I could just pop a path in you. We don't have zoning anyway. There we go. And a nice dodgy little crossing again with it. Hey, let's rezone. We want a bit of high density commercial. Just up there. And then the rest of this, low density residential. I don't know, this is the one spot. That I actually zoned medium density, wasn't it? Yeah, alright, I'll leave a medium density around here then. Because that is the plan. These two way roads are supposed to have medium density buildings on. And it's only the alleys that are supposed to have low density on. I just don't have the demand for any medium or high density, so... I'm just zoning low density. Off from here, apparently. There they are, spawning in. Anybody that's whinging, get deleted. You really only have that short bit of zoning. Oh, what a shame. You're not taking up all your blocks, mate. Get rebuilt. Rebuilt. I guess there's no 3x3. Or maybe that is a 3x3. Just sort these crossings out. Be gone. Be gone crossing. And be gone crossing. There we go. Bit tidier now. Oh, you know what we should check? Let's hop on board with this muscle car temporarily. Let's go up the hill here. Up on the old bridge. Well, the new bridge. And as we climb past the oil industry here, you'll be able to see a group of people just up ahead. And I think they've just been to drop off some of their post. Look at this handy dandy post box we have here. Look at that. Now, I am curious. How much post is in here? 252 letters! 
I reckon these people did actually mm. just go to drop off their mail. <laughs> Where are you all off to anyway? Where are you off to? Walking your dog. Can I check? Oh, where are you off to, dog? Let's see. You off to Leafy Greens, or is this one of your hooses? It's a commercial street, this. You can tell by the and the lack of employees. Ah, oh, yeah, she's just having a nice walk down the bridge there. And then, how would Doc cross? You know what, I'm thinking about popping a little... Oh, yeah, Doc can cross down there, and then across the way, and then just a, a, a quick nip in. Now it's a matter. Ooh, can I pop a little path here? Because this seems a bit like it's asking for one. Ooh, no, that's not ideal, is it? Looks like we're going to come off here, head down to there. That way the roundabout can just stay. All right. Anyway, back on track. One school. Next school. Next school over this side. And I think we've got some space going on. Well, let's have a look. Where do we get the best bit of efficiency with the green lines? We connect it up there. We don't get down there. So if we connect it, say, there. That's an ion perfect. Well, that's where it's going to go then. How much space do I need to clear out? Oh, I don't have snapping on. What a guy. Let's have a look. We just need to snake the roads. Oh yeah, let's do that. So what are we dealing with here? Just a two... A two-way number? What's the crack with this... Crossing the street here? There's no paths. Well, get bulldozed. And then you can all shut up. I don't want to hear about it. Right. Now we go ahead and place the school. Blop. There we go. Oh, probably shouldn't have placed that just yet. Because I don't know how big these roads are. Right. Pedestrian street, and I want a continuous curve, going from there to there, and then back again. Yeah, I figured you would start giving us grief on that. That's why I should have done the thing first. Oh, oh! Did I see it completely blue there for a sec? Overlapping items, I don't really care, but I do want to come off at a bit more of an angle there. New design, we're only going to connect in at one section, so... I'm going to end up moving this, which is going to cost me how much? Ah, uh, six and a half grand. See you later, six and a half grand. And it's going to go... Right there. Perfect. Right, now let's get that path on. And by path, I mean pedestrian road. And go the equal amount. So ideally, I want to be there. Oh, I love how it's going to create a retaining wall. <laughs> give, me a look, give me a look at that retaining wall. Mute. Right, now let's try and do something proper here. What are we working with? I may be sure to, you know, smoothen some terrain out before placing that. You know what? I am. I'm going to use this as a learning experience. I'm going to delete the school. And I'm going to do a little bit of terraforming. And I want to be about this level here. So I've right clicked here. And then we'll bring the brush size down just a, just a smidge. And then we'll start clicking. Create an area large enough for the school. There we go. Now that looks much better, doesn't it? Plop. How are we looking on the level? That's pretty much exactly where I want it. Happy days. So... Let's get a road in. And by road again, I mean pedestrian street. Alright, we have the road. And I think I'm happy with that. Yes, I am. That is nice. It looks nice and even enough. Well, let's get a nice little curve going. Connect not to the road. Bit of snapping as well. I think that'll look lovely jubbly. Oh, ho, ho. That is beautiful. Right, now let's sort out a bit of this, uh, how do you call it? Terrain. We'll soften it a wee bit. As much as we can anyway. I was going to say, before I mess with this too much, let's do the zoning. Make sure we reclaim everything we can. Before we modifications to the terrain break anything. Let me quickly sort this bit out and I'll be back. There we go. We look marginally better now. And you can't deny that. All right. So we should be all green in the coverage for elementary schools now. Perfect. What I will do though, because we do have education rectangle over here with a high school and collage. I want to make a nice little path for students to get past. Oh, and if we have a look over here, we have a path. So let's have a look at this motorway. And how are we going to bridge this motorway? Obstacle. Ooh, could do a pedestrian bridge. Ah, let's do that. Let's get this bridge in. And the bridge is just going to have to go across the motorway. And look decent doing it. A bit like that. Plop. Look at that majestic beast. Now let's get connected to it. Plop. Don't you worry. We are going to redo that. Plop. There we go. And then you can be a slightly larger commercial building. AKA get demolished. Hey, you can be even bigger than that. Get demolished. Big commercial building. Now. Okay. I might just pop a little sound barrier up here. Because I just noticed there's, you know, there's not really anything protecting. I just want one there and one there. Let us get connected from here to in there. Lovely job, I kind of want a bigger bridge. Yeah. Looks daft. There we go, and that looks better. And we'll fill this area out with something as well. 
at some point. So now all we need to address is our university. And I wish I could use that little area there for a bit of university action, but it is a tad too big, the uni there. Just a wee bit. So instead, we're going to buy some map tiles. These three to be precise. What have a mill? No, it's a matter. Actually, something might be a matter. What's the natural resources like over here? Oh, damn it! <laughs> I knew I should have checked that first. Okay, can I pop a college in? Without it, uh... Okay, there's enough room to pop a college in at least. Well, since this area is going to be surrounded by farms and industry, I do know that there are other universities we can have a look at. So if we go to Education and Research, we have a technical university here, which increases the efficiency of offices and industrial companies. I knew I read that somewhere. And then the medical university, ah, everyone's healthy in our city anyway. So, let's plop a technical university down. We'll unlock that part, lad. And then I, we'll stick this, lad, I doing? Let's make sure we don't plop this down near any farms. Now, I think this is the best place for it on the square. Because we may as well use this for, you know, collecting a bit of wood. Getting all that stuff, Cannon. So we'll have all the stuff. We'll plop it in this little corner here. So what are we looking at building-wise? We've got the front where the actual building is. And the rest of it behind it. And I'm assuming I'm going to need room around it for upgrades. What I think we'll do is we'll rotate it. So it's just about there, I reckon. I reckon that's pretty nice. We'll give it a plop. We unlocked the new building. It's the oil refinery. Oil that once just used to uselessly lie underground is fashioned into many different substances in this very refinery. Ooh. Okay. Well, we've got the uni in. And actually, that was quite a nice little pop-up, that. Because I wonder if we could get some signature buildings in here as well to do with industry. So what do we have unlocked? So this is all citywide benefits. Are these all citywide benefits? All of them. All of them! Oh, no! Uh, surely this helps if it's placed on the, the proper ground. Well, this is the thing I've just unlocked. I was, I was sitting there reading the, the oil that once just used to uselessly lie underground. Lying again, but uh, I was like, I'm pretty sure I knew that one. Oh, God, that even increases the university graduation chance and the interest in university education. So that's a medical one. Ooh. Oh, this area might get crazy. Oh, I love switch on. Oh, we have less air pollution and ground pollution with some of these as well. Okay, how massively, massively huge are these? Ground earth isn't too bad. Dairy house is tiny. Paper factories a bit big. Chemical plants are right. Fuel plants are right. Switch ons are right. Oil refineries are right. I reckon I can squeeze all this in here. Maybe not in this episode. This is because I've got... Wait, I'm about to redo this intersection manually without using any of these pre-built intersections. I don't like any of them. This is apart from this one, but this isn't a highway interchange, so it's not useful. My plan is to do something like that. Just do a reverse of what's already there and go underneath it and whatnot. So wish me luck with all of that. Uh, that will be an sped up off camera jobby, but what I want to do first is just make sure we have uh, appropriate road access over here and you know what i don't I, i'm i'm putting this off i'm doing this now i will catch you let me tell you now it is exactly 34 minutes of the recording now we'll see what time it is when i'm done with this intersection and as well just for the sake of marking out fences right, i'm pausing i'm bulldozing everything that i may or may not need to bulldoze to get all of the natural resources covered here at least up to the motorway So now I know where not to build. Alright, uh, yep, this is about to get real crazy. Even longer than I thought it might.
Well, that took half an hour and I didn't actually do what I said I was going to do. I just rebuilt this intersection. Now, I did pop a bit of freeway action on, on this side to allow workers over here to directly commute from the city to this little area here. Now, what's your problem? Not a lot of electricity? Really? Because you're getting it from there. And then it goes across the bridge. So you are getting electricity. We have enough electricity, so why are you complaining? Yeah, you even have an employee and everything. All right, well, I'll just not worry about that. Oh, actually, could it be? It's the same over here, though. Not enough electricity. And they're definitely getting electricity. I don't see any bottlenecks. Oh, hold up. We have really not enough electricity. What's going on over here? This whole side has no electricity. Oh, what's this? What's this? Electricity bottleneck. There it is. Right. Oh, well, that's the first time I get a deal with lecky bottlenecks. Let's give this a crack, then, eh? So I think this is where we actually... Actually, speaking of lecky, I just noticed this incineration plant here. That's costing me 44 and a half grand, quarter grand a month. Get deleted. So this isn't Timberborn. B for bulldoze. Yes. Lovely. And what that means as well, this little oil field here can go ahead and expand right up to the little shawkle there. There we go. You'll be slightly more efficient now. Bumber fuel. It is upgraded somewhat since the last time we've been up here. Anyway, lecky bottleneck. I think that's fair enough because it's all coming... Is that broken? Oh, of course. <laughs> of course the rail line uses lecky. You can see the wires above it and I'm like, oh, why is that red? Right. Anyway, that makes sense because all of our power is coming out of here and it has to go through that one little filter there to get out to it. Basically everywhere. So what I want to do is get a little high voltage number a little transformer station maybe a little transformer station here now what does it does it give any sort of negative effects we'll find out when i place it down won't we right, nobody cared about that which is great and i need high voltage power line here we're going to go 50 meters under the ground connect from that little transformer station there ah all the way into our high voltage power line which should be around the boot there and then if we press play do we see the lecky flow High voltage lecky? Well, everyone stopped complaining about it, but I don't see the, the lecky flowing. Let's have a look at this. How's it doing? Efficiency 100%, usage 65%, so it is getting some usage. Do we have updated lecky? Yes! So you go back to the grid there. You can see the lecky's high voltage flowing all the way under the map here. To this little transformer station where it gets pumped out. Equally distributed along both sides of the river there. And that does remind me, I need to delete this. It's been sitting there, and I just deleted the uh, the high voltage line that went to it, but it's been sitting there for so long, just costing me money doing nothing. So, a bit more industrial zoning. And you know what that means. Get bulldozed! You've been there probably since episode one, but get bulldozed. Oh, wow. I did not notice that. Hmm. Quite annoying. Let me sort that out. So I want to do a complex curve, come out of... Actually, no, it looks like we might just be able to do a... Just a regular out call. Do one of them into there. And of course, flip it round. Right, so let's get this back on. That'll do. Now for this area, I'm going to have to pop all the farms in so I know where I can put the roads. I just want to somewhat lazily make sure that all of this green stuff here is covered with nothing that doesn't have to be covered. So that's that. That's that. We'll go over to Wood. We want one here, one over there, and then ideally, I'd like one over here as well. What I need to do is check the upgrades. More room for students. Oh, and it's internal as well, so there's no external things I have to worry about. I can get right up and close and personal with all of that, which is beautiful. I'm thinking, what's the crack with the road here on the uni? I just pop a little thingy me bob in there, so it needs at least roads on the edge there but that's all it needs so that's the minimum amount of roads needed for that area there lovely let's quickly and roughly get these fences in What a little mess I have made for myself here, eh? I have to somehow get a road in between all this farming industry here.
and there we have it. We've got a nice little motorway section here. I love the intersections that I built. Nice and simple. Off and on. Well, in this case, off and off. And then you just go on the underground section there under the uni. Up onto this little here convenient ruined boot. And then off around the fertile land. Back onto the motorway, whichever way you feel like going. Spotty dog. So I want to get this all connected in. I've got the pedestrian streets set out here. I just want to go ahead and spend some little points because every uni needs a bit of parking. So I don't think I can see, well, I can't see anything in the park. I can't see how big these buildings are. So I think I'm just going to go crazy if I can, which I think I can. Oh, that's eight points. It's quite a lot of points. Let's see what we've unlocked so far. So the small parking lot could get away with that. A couple of those. We might even be able to get away with a medium there. Ooh, possibly even a large. Tell you what, I might do an underground car park. It seems like the way to do it. You know, we have limited space. Now, does it tell you anywhere how many, you know, parking spaces this allows? Because I didn't see that at all as I was going through here. I suppose if I plop it, it'll tell me. With the natural resources on, I want to get this parking on without any snapping. Thank you very much. Up the little parking garage there. And then with our pedestrian road here, we want to come on here. Can we just go straight down and connect in? Why I Straight down and connect in. And then now I hear, I believe we just need simple two lane road. See if I can turn snapping on. There we go. There we go. So many parking spaces is that? Oh, the parking fee is going to be huge. Going to be 42 cents. 200 there. That's our read for now. We'll see how we can. We'll see how we can. But that is that officially connected. We just need to get some lecky on the gun. And let me... I think we already have lecky here. So let's just go 10 meters underground. Connect from there over to there. But uh, not high voltage though. That'll be some low voltage lecky cables there going under the motorway. Perfect. Now you should have plenty of power there. Lovely. Now I would like this roundabout to have power. So I might upgrade the road here. So does that have power now, the ruined boot? Lovely. Oh, but it did upgrade. Okay, that's going back to highway. It also should be two lanes, not one. <laughs> what a guy. Let's see what looks like at two lanes. Yeah, honestly, I think that's fine there. Oh, yes, that's right. Water and sewage. Let's get those lines in as well. Completely, I forgot that. Same place. Let's go use the same. And there we go. Everyone's happy. People can get a uni. The whole whack. One final bit of road intersection maintenance management we're going to do here. It's just bringing the lane choices down. So we're coming in here with three lanes. We're adding one in. So I want to go up to four. Upgrade. Although now this looks really bad, this uh, connection here. So let me redo that. Plop. There we go. Marginally better. So we have four. We have two leaving. So you want to go down to two. Like that. Do I actually care that much about this initial one? Maybe. But I just don't like having two dedicated exit lanes. It means that the people coming on there have to get over twice to go straight. Yeah, I'm putting that back to three. There we go. Alright, so we're three, three. Taking two off. So we want to come down to one here. Plop. There we go. And then we go. So this needs to be somewhat sorted here let's see if we go down to one to get to there and then we go back up to two to get to there everything clean there again now we're down to one and then two back up to three and then we'll follow this motorway along a bit here and then when we exit here we'll go down to two all the way at the end we're going to go down to two all the way until here click and then we come off again another little off ramp so we want to go back from two so one, I'm just doing one at a time here to keep it all smooth. And then we have two coming on. So that's up to three. And then we have another one coming on, but I'm going to leave it at three because of bridges. And I don't believe I can upgrade that. Yeah, this road here to four lanes. Yep, overlapping items. I need to replace the bridges. Well, I can see we're already welcoming in the new area here, the new uni district. With a bit of traffic as we like it. As we love it. And it's just because these people thought they would be clever and go through the bloody uni. Instead of staying on the motorway and sitting in this little bit of traffic here. I've just noticed that looks like a little double roundabout there. From a distance. Even though it doesn't connect. We got any cars parked? Not just yet. We got any students? 
Not just yet. <sighs> but I, I'm glad we at least, if nothing else, actually have a university in now. So those eligible students, they just need to find their way over here and they'll be able to live their best lives. Oh, speaking of, the uni needs a post box right there. Oh, and does the uni have any telecommunications? The uni does not have any telecommunications. We'll worry about that later on. To finish this episode off, a little bit of a production check. Because this green bar isn't big enough, we need to make it bigger. We won't, we won't need a big deficit of livestock and stone, which we don't need special areas for. I think mostly we just need grain. So grain number one, vegetable number two, cotton number three. Let's place this down. I do hope you enjoyed this episode, creating the little uni district. I know it might not be as eventful as the last episode, but you know, the university, it's been a long time coming. I've been threatening to put it in for maybe over 10 episodes now. I'm just quite happy that we finally got it done. And I'll get the seniors again in the next episode. Peace!